Hey, hey, crafters, crocheters, knitters, and yarn enthusiasts. My name is Jenny. Welcome back to Granny Square Peg. You guys know that, um, actually, I'm coming up on my one-year anniversary for my YouTube channel here. Um, January 20th will be one year since I started making videos about my crochet pile, stash, hoard that I have in my house. I have a lot of yarn that's not being used. I have hooks, books, patterns, and then a project pile. So I've been making videos about going through everything, sorting, organizing, purging. So while I've been sorting through it and I've been organizing it, I haven't actually been purging it. I want to purge it, but I haven't been able to. I've been still holding on very tightly with all my stuff. Well, I, I finally, I don't know, I guess maybe the straw that broke the camel's back. I just, um, on Saturday, I just couldn't take it anymore and I couldn't take myself and my excuses and everything. So I decided to do something about it. So today for me is Monday, January 16th. Um, I filmed this video on Saturday the 14th. Um, it took me about three hours and I've got about, uh, <laughs> about an hour and a half worth of footage that I actually have to kind of cut down a little bit because it'll make too long of a video. It's of me taking those bins and taking that yarn and taking out what I really want to keep, the colors that make me happy and the yarn brands that make me happy and putting them on a bookcase. And you know a bookcase is a big piece of furniture that you sit on the floor and it'll have five, six, seven shelves in it. Well, I went to my thrift store and I bought one recently and I said, whatever yarn fits on this shelf, whether I jam it all in there or not, whatever fits on the shelf is what I'm keeping and I'm getting rid of the rest of it. I'm not going to sell it or I would love to make some money off of all this yarn that I bought. I've got hundreds of dollars worth of yarn and I would love to make some money off of it, but I can't. I just don't have the room in my house. I just don't have the time for it. I don't have the space. I don't have the energy. And when you try to sell something online, it can sit for a while. And so it was just another way for me to hold on to my stuff. Well, I've, I've finally, I've, I've legitimately had enough. I can't take it anymore. Um, it, my, my yarn stash is not only just affecting my mental health, but that of everybody in my house. So I, I had, I don't know, I had a breakthrough and I decided to do something about it. So the footage you're about to see is from Saturday and I'm a bit manic in the video. I'm up with what I'm doing and then I'm down with what I'm doing and I'm a bit all over the place but I'm, other than trying to edit out my husband and his face because he really doesn't like to be on the camera and some of the conversations I was having while it was filming, this is all raw footage. This is me processing the emotions and going through the process of purging my yarn. I did throw some of it away and I donated a fair amount. So this is just the first part of Saturday. So this is part one. Okay. Um, enjoy. <laughs> I, um, I went through quite a process and it's some really raw emotions in there. So I'm going to cut to my past self and you can watch me do a thing and then I will come back with an outro. Hey, hey crafters. So you know I have been battling my yarn pile and my pack rat tendencies and I kind of toe the line at being a hoarder. And I know this and I admit it freely. I don't have a problem with that. Thankfully, I am young enough to take care of my hoarding issue now instead of 80 years old and my kids have to take care of it. I'm also self-aware enough that I know that I have pack rat tendencies and I have hoarding tendencies and I have a hard time letting go. I know this. I know I need a therapist, but therapists cost money and right now I don't have that. So, you know what my yarn stash looks like. You know that I moved it at Christmas time so I can get to my Christmas decorations. And currently, my yarn stash is sitting on my couch, right? It is driving me insane. So, since I live in a small house, I told you guys, I don't have a basement, I don't have an attic, I don't have a garage, and while I have a shed, it's not usable, right? So, here's the thing. I went out and bought myself a bookcase. Kind of like, these are Billy bookcases from Ikea, and I'm using them literally for books. 
but bookcases have so many other uses. I actually used to keep one in my kitchen and I had snacks on it for the kids a long time ago. So I actually have one corner in my house that doesn't actually have anything in it. I decided to go out to my local thrift store. I bought a bookcase and it's a little wider than my official bookcases here. And it's got two doors on it, so but it's giving me one, two, three, four, five shelves, six shelves. Here's the plan. I'm going to go through those yarn bins. I'm going to take out the yarn that I want. I'm going to put it on the shelf. And whatever doesn't fit on that shelf or in that shelf, I'm, I'm donating. I'm, I'm done. I'm not even going to try and sell it. I'm going to donate it. So I'm going to show you the new shelf. Back there in the corner my husband is currently putting a screwing it to the wall so it won't tip over because I have cats so here we go see this down here it's got two doors that open up and there's a shelf in there another shelf another shelf another one another one and I can use that top one so whatever yarn will fit in there that I want to keep Yay! And then the rest of this, I will take the bin and all and donate it. Because I don't need the bins. I don't have storage room for the bins. I love yarn. I love having yarn. But I don't live in a big house. And it's not just me and my husband. It's three teenagers, two cats, three guinea pigs three bedrooms and we just don't have the room and I'm learning to let go so this is me letting go and you know what happens is I get angry and that's what makes me let go and then I had a, an epiphany and a light bulb that that went off or on I don't know does your light bulb go off or on when you figure things out that um I was watching a lady called um a YouTube channel called a hoarder's heart and the way she's talking, she's a recovering hoarder. And the way she's talking about things and the process and the thoughts to go with it, she could be describing me to a T. So she's giving me some inspiration to do something about it. So there we go. That's my update. Um, so today is Saturday, January 14th, 2023. Um, my name is Jenny. Welcome to Granny Square Peg, where it is a channel where I go, I'm going through a journey for sure with all the crochet stuff that I own um, I will come back and give you guys an update as I fill up that shelf with what I want to keep and what I'm gonna get rid of I will come back and give you some more updates so I'll see you in a bit bye okay so we are starting with this bin right here that's my husband he's gonna open the bin he's gonna give me the yarn in the bin and I'm gonna put it on the shelf I'm not I'm not, other than that I'm not touching it because if I touch it I'm gonna want to keep it which is what pack rats and hoarders do. You let them touch things and they'll be like, no, no, I can't get rid of that. And I'm one of them. Okay, so I did cut your face off. He's camera shy. Um, but we're not gonna do this one at a time. <laughs> okay, give me a whole big handful. So for this bin, it's all my variegated yarn which I have a job for this because one of my favorite blankets that I made was my patchwork squares blanket so I've been finding um, all of my variegated yarn and put it all in one spot so I can make more blankets so this has a job that's why I'm keeping it This color Reef from Red Heart Super Saver, beautiful, isn't it? Tuck those little tail ends so my kitty cats don't want to chew on it. Still want to chew on it anyway. I'm sorry if all of you are seeing, it's just the back of my head. Because I'm working and I'm making progress.
have to tell you. I feel like I'm creating art. Uh-huh. It's beautiful, isn't it? Okay. So you see that? One bin of yarn. I still got a little bit of room there. And that empty bin, wait, 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 wait. I want to see the empty bin. Look at that. One empty bin. Then we can take this off of there, right? Because you know what's going to happen to the bin? I'm going to donate it. I'm getting rid of the bins, too. I don't want them. Thank you. Okay, so while I'm looking at my yarn stash, I'm trying to pick out the most obvious things that I want to keep. Next is this bin right here because that's all my Karen Simply Soft and I am keeping all of that. So we're going to take the yarn that's in this bin and go put it on the shelf. Okay. Is that still a good angle? Okay, so there's going to be projects on the top. We're just moving the projects out of the way and then taking all the yarn that's in there and giving me the yarn. So beautiful. Robin's egg blue. Awesome color. There we go. We'll go work on that side. There we go. Purples, greens. Some more green. You know, when I'm all done, I might come and color code it. I don't know. Put it in rainbow water. I don't know. I have a lot of partials because I used Karen Simply Soft to make my temperature blanket that is upstairs in my room, which I will do a video on that someday. Because that blanket is like king size. So, I know you can't hear them, but my husband's telling me it's just um, little hand-wound balls that are left in the bin, which is fine. They're all going in here. Scrunch these down. I can make plenty of room for all the little stuff. I know that one one bowl of purple. Check this out. Yep. But right now I don't care about neatness. Right now I just care about getting rid of everything I don't want. Are you afraid of stepping into frame? Because you're fine.
Sorry, they're on my list of things to... Because of course it is. That's still simple as all. Oh, yeah. It, oh, yeah, that needs to be frogged, too. All right, so I'm making a frog pile. Okay, so a big, big bin that held all my Simply Soft, right? Yarn bin number six. Hold on. But see there, it's got my blankets in there. Right? So now it's on the shelf. And I've still got room on that side. I've still got a little bit of room up there. And I've got all these shelves here. So let's take a break for a minute and we'll get back to you. Okay, so two bins down, right? Next is just stuff that's in bags. This is Loops and Threads Impeccable sold at Michael's, right? Now I had already sorted through all this and decided this, I was getting rid of what's in this bag. I was getting rid of what's in this bag. This is all I'm keeping from Michael's Loops and Threads Impeccable, okay? So that makes it nice and easy. That empty bin that we have now, I'll get my husband to put this stuff in the bin. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to put this on the shelf. And then this is a bag of Lion Brand Homespun. And I hate this stuff, so I'm going to have him put that in the bin. And we're going to put the bin in the car so it can be donated. Okay? So I will get back to you guys in a minute. Because I need two hands for this. Can I be honest with you guys? Already I found myself like, no, I can't get rid of that. I can't get rid of that. I can't do that. This is so hard. Okay, even with my husband helping me, I, I'm, I'm already. He's like, no, no, you can't take that. No, you can't touch that. So I'm calling myself on my own bullshit. Because that's what it is. And I know it. Intellectually, I know it. But... Yeah, you guys, these two are dusty, so they do need to be cleaned off a bit. This one is too tangled up, so I'm going to throw it away. I'm not even going to. I'm just throwing it away. This one, I hate the color on this one. That one can go. Okay. I do love certain shades of pink. I keep telling myself I don't need all the pink, but I love the pink. I'm keeping the pink. And the blue. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, I'm already struggling, and I'm trying really hard. I know I need to do this. Um, I think I'm going to take a break, and I will get back to you guys, okay? Okay, I've got one bag that's going out to the trash, and I've got one bin of yarn that is going out to the core to be donated, and it's full of... Loops and threads, impeccable, and some um, homespun from Lion Bread, okay? So here we go. We're going to follow my husband out to the car because we're done. There it goes. And, of course, I got the bag of trash. But 
don't mind my messy house because that's part of the problem. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to stand right here. That's his car. He's going to put it in the back of his car and it is going to be donated today. Then I will get a clip of that too. Because he's got shoes on and I'm barefoot in January in the winter he's gonna go put this in the garbage for me oh wait that's right I can't show his head thank you handsome he's still very camera shy so you see there's there's my minivan we're not putting it in my van if I put it in there it will stay in there for weeks and then I will come up with every excuse to take it back out that's why it's going in my husband's car he's more stronger willed than I am so the piles getting a little smaller am I struggling yes am I gonna sit down and take a break yes I've only got two shelves filled so far so, how about some cheese raviolis and meatballs for lunch? I give my, my brain a break, give my heart a break. <laughs> Just take a few minutes to myself. Um, and then I'm going to go right back to it. I'm hoping by the time I'm done this, it's going to make me feel ten times better about my yarn stash. I hope so. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. Here's another bin that can go right out to the car. It's those vintage blankets that I had that I picked up at the thrift store and I'm like thinking I could sell them online or whatever I'm getting rid of the whole thing hey husband of mine this one right here yes. you straight out to the car okay. I'm donating the bin I'm donating the blankets That right there is my biggest supporter. Keeps me in check. Now he's also getting ready to leave because he has to go take one of our one of our kids somewhere. <laughs> so that's very vague, right? <laughs> so I'm going to be doing some more of this by myself, which is okay. Because he'll be back soon and keep right on helping me the way he has been. Boop. Say hi to Bandit who's trying to get out. And Arlo. So, how'd you guys like that footage, right? Um, there was obvious yarn that I was keeping. There was obvious trash because there was stuff that was tangled up that I just wasn't going to untangle. And colors that I like versus colors that I don't like, that was pretty easy, right? I'm sorry for the footage where I'm in the corner putting stuff on the shelf and it was dark. I just did not have enough lighting. And I can't figure out in my editing program how to lighten up the footage. So I'm sorry for that. So I did empty one bin in this video clip of my variegated yarn. I have since moved that variegated yarn to another shelf. Um, I emptied uh, my Karen Simply Soft bin. Uh, two bags of loops and threads, one bag of homespun, and putting it in the car. So there is more footage from Saturday, and it's about another half an hour's worth of footage. I will make that part two, and that will go up tomorrow. So I'm calling this the Great Yarn Purge of 2023, because... I, I, I counted it all up and I'll let you know at the end of tomorrow's video how much my husband and I actually dropped off at the thrift store. Okay. Um, Sunday, I did some more filming and I did some more work and I found it extremely hard. That video will go up on Wednesday and I'm going to do some more work today. That video will go up on Thursday and hopefully I'll have a wrap up of everything I did on Friday. Um, so no more blanket videos for the moment and no more what's in the yarn bin videos because I am legitimately this time around purging my yarn. Um, thank you guys for all your comments and, and your support in doing this. 
Um, I know in the video it looks like I'm relying heavily on my husband, which I, I am, but I'm actually relying more heavily on myself. He just, um, we talk and there's a set of guidelines that we're working through. And when I come up with my bullshit answers of, yeah, but he'll call me on it. So he has permission to do that. So I know it looks like I'm relying a lot on my husband and I am, but I am also relying tremendously on myself to get this done. Um... So we're working together, and he is my biggest supporter. And if you ever watch my videos, dear husband, thank you very much. And to everybody else, thank you for being here. Um, I look forward to seeing on Friday when I'm done how much I actually got rid of versus how much I'm keeping. So wish me luck. Send me lots of hugs and kisses and hearts and all that stuff. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.